Hello Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video today. I have if you couldn't tell Purchased a book cart. It's basically just a $40 cart from Target One of you guys DM'd me sent me yours and I saw how cute it was and I loved the way it looked I also need more space for a book on my bookshelves. They're kind of small. That's what inspired this video You know, I need more space. I decided to today. We're going to clean out my bookshelves We're gonna make a pile of books that I probably will never read that I have that I either can donate I don't know what I'm gonna do with them just yet Reorganize my shelves and then figure out my little cart right now My cart has books that I haven't read on them, which is a lot. I went through my bookshelves and I just kind of want to make a TBR on here and then I realized I have way too many books that I haven't read yet. They were in my TBR pile or they were just in the shelves and I just like had no idea I didn't read them so I put them there. We're gonna start off with clearing out these shelves. Before we get started it's the time of the month to change my phone case. So this has been the one for a hot minute. It's the book is over. You can close it from Caseify but today I think I'm gonna go back to my Mochi case. This is one of my favorite cases from Caseify. It's the Ultra Impact case. These are the four cases that I have. The Mochi one, the one that says Sour on it. These two were customized and then I have these two I've been wearing this one for a while and then I have this one it says wow that sucks but I do not care but what's great about this ultra impact case and just case to is that they have drop protection so it's created from plant-based and recycled material their chi tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection from up to 9.8 feet so I'm going to show you that literally you can drop your phone from that high onto hardwood just any flooring and it will protect your case it will protect your phone your screen like your phone will be fine and I dropped my phone like a very scary amount of times and my phone is protected the shock dispersing material is lined inside the case bumper protecting all four corners as you can see So you are protected and this one the ultra impact case from caseify is their slimmest most protective iphone case at 13 millimeters thin Super fun and then their cases are also wireless charging and 5g compatible, which is great But i'm going to show you literally you can drop this and your phone will be protected So this is what my phone is like right now very clean clear no scratches, no cracks. We're gonna go on the hardwood floor, so that should be fun. All right, I'm gonna go back there on my couch and I'm gonna drop it, so. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Phone is protected, screen is fine, case is fine. That was scary, but that was fun. But aside from the drop protection, they have so many case options that you can choose from. They have either curated cases or you can personalize a custom case with your favorite font or design layout. And then their impact and ultra impact cases are made from 65 recycled and plant-based materials. And then all of them come in 100% recycled packaging made with recycled paper and non-toxic soy ink, which is made from soybeans. And then they'll keep you safe because their cases feature Defensify, which is antimicrobial coating, killing 99% of bacteria. Also non-toxic and non-hazardous. So you guys can go to caseify.com slash Shira. That will be in the description as well if you forget or if you need to come back to it if you want to shop for more cases. There's so many options, but that will get you 15% off your order. Highly recommend. These have been my favorite cases for so long now. Back into the video, I think we should start off by taking all of my books out of my shelves and then planning where to re-put them and then like dividing them into sections of what I want to keep, what books I want to put together, what books I don't want to keep. I think that would be helpful because then we could put those books back in and separate the other ones. But this is not going to be fun, putting them back in. Okay. And then we'll get to my cart. Let's take them out first. sure where to go from here because that was a lot more books than I thought I even had. I'm gonna separate them into sections now. I am gonna read off every single book that I own as well so that we are doing this together. This pile is Callaway Sisters spin-off of the Addicted series and then the epilogue. I separated them because the Addicted series I felt like those covers, like I have the old covers with the people's faces on them. So I separated them because I feel like the Addicted series were just too pretty to include with this. But this is Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, and Some Kind of Perfect. Obviously I'm going to be keeping these. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet but that's our first pile. Two other series is the, oh the Off Campus series. A deal, The Mistake, Score, Goal. Not getting rid of those. I love this series so much I kind of miss them. Folk of Air series, Pearl Prince, Wicked King, Queen of Nothing. Not my favorite series. I did like the last book, but I'm definitely going to keep these just because I could put them in videos. I could reread the last one if I wanted to. I have some good quotes in here as well. I kind of annotated them, so. I think this was just in a pile of books that I've read. So I have The Summer of Broken Rules, Confidence of Wildflowers, Resurrection of Wildflowers, Funny You Should Ask, The Roughest Draft, and then the Dreamland Billionaire series, Terms and Conditions, and then The Fine Print. That's a pile. I'm definitely going to keep them. I didn't hate any of these books. I actually really enjoyed, pretty sure almost all of them, or all of them, so definitely going to keep those. Now, 
we are in just a random pile. So I have The Choice, Embrace the Impossible, a memoir by Dr. Edith Eva Eager. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever gonna read this. I don't remember getting this. I just don't read nonfiction or memoirs or anything like that. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to it. And I don't wanna just keep books piled up that I'm never gonna touch because I feel like once waste of space, other people would enjoy it more than I would and probably get more reading out of it and use out of these books. So I might not keep this one. Uh, Paper Towns by John Green. This is not my book. My friend gave it to me. I'm probably just gonna give it back. I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. I tried reading it once and then I also tried watching the movie or the show or whatever and I didn't like it. Ilya of Homer. I read this for school. Or actually I didn't read it. I'm supposed to read it for school but I don't want to see this ever again. Reading for school, I mean I'm not in school anymore but when I had to read for school I just couldn't do it. And it's funny because I literally read like so much but when I was told to read a book I wouldn't do it. All About Love by Bell Hooks. I didn't have to this book but I'm probably gonna try to get back into it one day so I'm gonna keep that. And then I have some more school books. This is The Epic of Gilgamesh and then Etched in the Sand. This one is no. This one is a really, really sad book. I was in a child development class and we had to choose a book out of like four options and then we're all about child abuse. That book is really hard to read, but it's also based on a true story. So if you're interested, it's called Etched in the Sand. Something borrowed by Emily Giffen. I actually watched the movie. I read like half of this and then I watched the movie. So I know how it ends, but I really like the cover. I might end up reading this again one day, so I'm going to keep it. This is just a little notebook to keep track of like books and stuff called Book Club. I got this at Target. I'm gonna keep it, but it's not like a book I read. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I would keep this just because the cover is so pretty. So I don't know. I also might film a video of books that are popular that I didn't like. I gave this one star. So I might just keep this just because I could include it in other videos even though I did hate the book. I did think about getting rid of this. Then I have Peach Blossom Spring. This is a book of the month book I did not read. Or wait, yeah, I didn't read. I don't know if I'm ever gonna read it but I'm gonna put together my book of the month books that I haven't read in one pile just because I have so many of them. But this one is just not one I feel like that intrigues me. So I'm gonna that in a separate pile and then this is alexander hamilton graphic novel that i had to read for another class so i'm getting rid of that these are a bunch of book of the month books that i also have not read i'm gonna go through these and put them in piles of ones that i'll probably end up reading or ones that i don't think i'm ever going to read This pile is either book of the month books that I have read or want to read or just hardcover books that I've read. House Cross the Lake, love this book. Just read Rock, Paper, Scissors, gave this five stars. Dating Dr. Jill, I really want to read this. I'm going to put this in a pile that books I want to read. X Hex, I want to read this this Halloween ish time, October maybe. The Maid, I want to read that. Hotel Nantucket, I also read this month. Paris Apartment, Little Hope, I want to read that. And then Everything We Didn't Say, I also want to read. This one are books that I have read. So I have Hook, Line, and Sinker, It Happened One Summer. Both by Tessa Bailey. I did enjoy those two. And then I have Twisted Love by Anna Wong. I don't think I'm ever going to continue the series. People tell me that it gets so much better and the other books are their favorite. And this one's like, it's good for them, but like, I don't know. I gave this two stars. I absolutely hated the characters, especially Alex. I think he was so obnoxiously toxic and I don't think he should have been romanticized. I don't think I'm gonna like the others, but I have some like inkling that I wanna read them, but I just don't know. I didn't like this one, but I am gonna keep it. All right, then I have One Day in December. This is a cute little rom com, contemporary romance that I read a few years ago actually but cute little winter read. Now Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I did DNF this book so maybe I'll get back to it again. I don't know. I probably will but I did not enjoy the first half of this so. Then I have Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I'm really upset because the first one is not a hardcover but these two are so it's not that fun to have them on my bookshelf together but they still look cute. But I did like the series. I really enjoyed this one. These are some Colleen Hoover reads and then I think a few other authors are in here so I have Layla, Confess, Without Merit, It Ends with us all you're perfect and then i have the losing hope hopeless kind of series thing that went on losing hope finding cinderella all you're perfect finding perfect that's after you read hopeless maybe someday so those are all of my colleen reads oh no i have maybe not which is after maybe someday all right and then i have full tilt just recently read this i did enjoy this one and then better than the movies also just recently read this okay i think we're getting somewhere so these are some thrillers and this was actually just a pile of books that were dark covers that i liked together i have the book of harry i never read this but i do have this it's literally just a book all about Harry Styles. All right, then I have Dance of Thieves, which I did enjoy. I have the second one, but that's on my TBR card that we will get to. Punk 57, I didn't really enjoy this book. I think it was a little much. And then I have My Policeman, Harry's movie that's coming out soon. The kind Worth Killing, Gone Girl, The Woman in the Window. The Sea of Lost Girls, I hated this book, so I'm gonna get rid of it. It was by Carol Goodman. Probably one of the worst thriller mysteries I've ever read. I did not like that book. A Thousand Splendid Sons. I've been told to read this so many times. I just never did. And then this is where it ends. This is actually my friend's book. I think I'm gonna give it back to her. We are getting through this guys we don't have too many left more book of the month books that i either haven't read want to read so i'm gonna go through these and put them in different piles 
That's interesting. It's called Darling Girl, and it's a take on Peter Pan. That's really interesting, okay? This is by Holly Black, Book of the Night, and I didn't like her writing in the Cruel Prince like that trilogy, so I think I'm gonna give it a chance, though. I'll save it. I just read this, The Bodyguard. It'll be in my August wrap up, and also in my screen time swapping video. Here's another romance pile. People I Meet on Vacation, Emily Henry. I think I'm gonna put that with Book Lovers, obviously, even though I haven't finished. The Holiday Swap, Every Last Word, Every Summer After, Along With You in the Ether. This is my friend, but she didn't ask for it back yet, so I'm gonna put it on my shelf. This is the Summer I Turn Pretty series, the Addicted series, like the pretty covers, just the original pretty white covers not the ones like the Callaway sisters with people on them okay then I have loving like Jane this is a poem book so I don't know where I want to put this someone exactly like me Alex approximately the honey don't list the on honeymooners and then a bunch of me and Sheridan books most of all you more than words and then Archer's voice piles getting big we are so close all right the winter in paradise series by Ellen Hildebrand some more book of the month books I'm gonna go through these and then separate them into want to read or maybe give away some more book of the month books I have so many of these. It's like crazy, but okay. Three more piles. Same Beach Next Year by Dorothy Benton Frank. I did not like this book, so I am going to get rid of it. Me Before You. I watched this movie, but I never read the book, so I definitely want to read this one day. Uh, 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand. Little Fires Everywhere. I don't know if this is controversial, but I didn't like this book, so I might get rid of this. I didn't like the show either. I think they did such a bad job making it into a show. Like, it didn't really connect some of the lines between the book and the show for me. We Were Liars. This is one of the books I absolutely hate but i love putting it in videos of like books i didn't like book talk books that are popular this is one of the ones that like blew up i'm gonna keep it though in five years by rebecca searle here's to us by ellen hildebrand nine perfect strangers this is such a good book and then the show is also really good song of achilles and then after we collided my friend let me borrow so i'm gonna give this back to her so this is a pile of my favorite books from my favorite cubby a million kisses in your lifetime love in other words things we never got over my year of rest and relaxation normal people beach read but i think i'm gonna put that with emily henry book the perfect couple by ellen silent Patient, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, Love Hypothesis. I just recently had a few other books that I really enjoyed, so I'm gonna make that a whole new shelf, maybe? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Last pile, more book of the month books that I just haven't gotten to. The ones I'm getting rid of. I know there's not a lot, but these are the ones I'm getting back to my friend, ones I wanna read. That's a pile of ones I wanna read, and then this is just all of my books. And then those two are ones that I'm probably gonna give away. They're either memoirs or just topics of books that I don't enjoy, so I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with those. I think it'll give me a lot more space in my bookshelves and then we'll go through all the books on my book cart and figure out how I want to situate that. I'm going to put all of these into my shelves and then I'll go over why I put them there, why they're there. So you guys can just watch me figure this one out. exactly where everything is gonna stay this is just where i put them for now i'm out of breath this took a while but i'll show you what i have so far and then we'll go through my cart of books that i want to read there's some on my shelves that are still to be read so we're just gonna go through it here are all of my calling books obviously i needed them in their own little section because it deserves her own section down here are some romance books i didn't know if i wanted to color code my books i feel like that's too much for me i like when the genres are together like i don't want like a cover of like a pink romance book and then maybe the thriller or like a fantasy has like a pink cover together you know these are a bunch of romances that i enjoyed my christina lawrence are down here dreamland billionaire series i have just some good romances and then here are just like authors that i kept together so like emily henry tessa bailey mia sheridan and then the confidence of wildflowers so these are just like i wanted them to stay together down here are just fantasy books but these four looked good together so the folk of air series then dance of thieves above it i know there's like not really much in there but like when i read more like the vow of thieves i have i'll put in here you know that's together and this last four cubbies i put the addicted series together but this hunker huge book the epilogue is just so big it couldn't fit in my shelf so it's on the side i wish i had the, all the white ones but i feel like it was time to put them all together down here is just kind of like a mix of books i didn't know where to put these ones 
ones. These ones are just, I don't know why they're together, but they are, and that's where I put them. This, I might change with this one, only because I love Ellen Hildebrand, and this is her ode to her in this shelf, is all of her books. I have two more on my book cart, because I have to read them, but I love her so much, so she deserves her own. These ones down here are the four books that I kept that I just hated, and then I have thrillers down here, and then this one I didn't read, but I know where to put it, Thousand Splendid Sons. Now over here, this one was getting a little difficult. I have a whole open cubby. That's very nice. I might put some just books on my TBR cart in here, just like ones that I kind of want to get to sooner. These two are filled with the book of the month books that I want to get to because I have so many. So there's some on my book cart that I'll show you, but I kept some in here just because they take up space. They look good together. This cubby is just series that I really like. So Off Campus, Good Girls Guide to Murder, Summer I Turned Pretty series, and then this book, Another Hunker, A Million Kids in Your Lifetime. I loved and wanted to put it in this cubby of books that I like love so much, but this book is so big. It just doesn't fit this way, this way, and I just like the way that this one is. So I just left it here. There was a space for it. So I put it there. Up here are Book of the Month books and just hardcover books. This one's not Book of the Month, but these ones are that I read and really love. So I kept them together because they're hardcover. And then these three are ones that I want to get to that I have it, but I felt like I should put them there. I don't know why, but I did. That's my bookshelf as of right now. Now into this cart. I might put some of these back into my bookshelves. I might not. We're just going to go through them and see. The ones at the top, I put these in the other day, are the ones I want to get to sooner. These ones are just like extra ones that I have to, like, have to get to then down there. Okay, I guess I'll just take them out. I kind of want to make this look better, so I'm going to take them out and then we'll talk. But okay, I have Meet Cute, The One, If He Had Been With Me, Things You Leave Unfinished, Pack Up the Moon, All the Bright Places, The Truth About Unspeakable Things, and then Bound by the Unspeakable, This is the Duet, Daisy Jones and the Six, Serenading Heartbreak, The Flat Share, The Problem with Forever, the Matchmaker, One Summer in Paris, Throttle, this is the beginning of the Dirty Air series, The Kiss Quotient, and then here are some hardcover ones I want to get to, Invisible Life of Annie LaRue, The Golden Couple, Apples Never Fall, The Maiden, Devil Wears Black, Rush, Golden Girl, You Were There Too, The Truth Hurts, the Court of Thrones and Roses, I know like when I'm going to pick this up, so I think I'm going to put this in the cubby with all of the fantasies, Vow of Thieves, I might also put this here at the bottom, maybe that looks better, The Slam series by Colleen, I kind of want to put that in her section too because these are just like like i know i need to get to this and that really just completes her stack watch me disappear someone we know sharp objects a little life one of us is lying this lie will kill you and then here are more book of the month ones that i really want to get to firstborn part of your world the book of cold cases like a sister the neighbor's secret then down here the inheritance games the first two 50 shades of gray redeeming love i actually dnf this but i need to get back to it one day stealing infinity this one i really want to get to soon the liar's crown looks like a fun fantasy and these are just like mini books that i might put in its own shelf because i don't know they're like nicholas sparks ones and like kind of like that so i think i'm gonna put them all in its shelf so that fit perfectly those are cute so those are all the books that i had in my book cart that i need to read i think i'm gonna put the ellen Hildebrand books that i haven't read in her section as well if i wanted an ellen book to read i'll just go to her section okay i love ellen section I might get rid of this book, This Lie Will Kill You, only because I've had it for, I think, like, it's gotta be over, like, five or six years now, and I never touched it, and it's, like, annoying me that it's just always there. This is a rash decision, but I'm doing it. Alright, here's my TBR book cart. Okay, so the top is romance, and then these four are just four that I need to get to for a video, and then hardcover. This one just didn't fit anywhere else. And then down here, thriller, mystery, fiction, fantasy. I love it so much. I got a new mirror for over here. It's kind of sad because I've had this mirror for so long, but I'm just so over it, so I got like a thin gold one I'm gonna put on the wall, and then this book cart will be next to it, which I think will look really cute. It comes next week, so I'm very excited. Okay, I think I'm done now. See, that took a very long time. Probably gonna go play around with my bookshelves, but for now, this is what they look like, so I am excited. This was like good cleanse of books. I definitely recommend doing this if you haven't looked through your books in a while because I had, or I have, so many I haven't read and it's so bad, I just can't stop buying them, so here we are. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I now ask you guys to do the same thing. Clean out your bookshelves, organize, and it'll make you feel better. Highly recommend. Let me know if you've read any of these books that are on my TBR or any of the ones that I've mentioned that I haven't read yet or any of your opinions on literally anything. It's super fun. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you hopefully in the next one. <laughs> Bye!